So the question is asking us to show that this triangle here, AFE, is similar to DAE, DAE, that triangle there. So similar means equiangular or all corresponding angles are the same. So we know that A, the angle AEF is equal to the angle AED. They're both right angles. Angled. So those two are equal right there. We know that angle F A E plus so that's this angle F A E plus the angle E A D that one is equal to ninety degrees because it's a rectangle. We also know that E A D plus so this plus this A D E is equal to 90 degrees so that must mean that this section of those two angles are equal so therefore the angle F A E is equal to the angle A, D, E and then the remaining angle A, F, E is equal to D, A, E so these two are equal here Okay, so they're similar because all corresponding angles are equal. Now we need to find the length A to D. A to D. So what I would recommend is actually drawing out the two triangles. So imagine if this is A, E, D. You knew this was 12. Okay. Keep the right angles the same. So I had E down here. So I'm again going to have E down here. In the bottom right hand corner. And look, I know they're not the same size. But this is just a pure description. So E, F, A, or an aid to us. This was 5, and this is 12. Okay. Now, obviously, the triangles don't look like that, but to draw it out like that helps us an awful lot. What are we looking for? We're looking for that side. Okay. So, because we don't know its opposite, or its corresponding side in the other triangle, it might be useful to actually go and find that. This is a right angle triangle, so we can use Pythagoras. 12 squared plus 5 squared is equal to AF squared. So AF is equal to 144 plus 25 is 169. 100, uh, squared 169. AF is equal to the square root of 169, which is 13. So I now know that that's 13. Now I can use similar triangles. The fact that they are similar triangles moves it over a little bit. So I can go AD over 13 is equal to 5 over 12. Sorry, no. AD over 13 is equal to 12 over 5. Much better. AD over 13 is 12 over 5. So AD is equal to 13 times 12 over 5, 
which is 31.2 centimeters. Okay, so those two questions, this first one, 0, 4, 5, 10. This one is 0, 2, 4, 5. Nice 15 marks in general, which you should be able to pick up with a bit of ease anyways. Next question. So we're given the fact that these two are similar. And we want to show that A to B is 36 long. Okay, so it might be a little bit easier to go and rub these out. So we can mark in. So it said A F E. So A F E, this little guy with the 5 and the 12. So this is corresponding to this. This is obviously common to both. And this one corresponds to this one. So as usual, it's nice to actually go and draw it out. So ABG, I'm going to draw it first. Everything about ABG and fill it in. A, B, G, and the other one then, put it facing the same way, doesn't matter that I don't really have the sizes the same, so I both have, I have right angles there and there, this is E at the right angle, F, and then A is common to both of them. So then A is com oh I want to colour that in red. A is common to both of them. I know A to E is 12 long. I know E to F is 5 long. I don't know how long B to G is, but I do know that A to G is 39 long. And I want to actually go and find that length right there. So it would be A to B over 12 is equal to, now I can't go 39 over A to F but I can actually find A to F because it's a right angle triangle. A to F squared is equal to 12 squared plus 5 squared a to f squared is equal to 169 a to f I've just realized I went and found it in the previous question is 13 and 13 so now I can go the a b a b over 12 is equal to 39 over 13 a b is equal to 12 by 39 over 13 a b is equal to 36 centimeters finished okay and that question is another five marks zero two four, five. If you could do part B, you could definitely do part C. Find the area of the quadrilateral GCDE. So that is the area in here. We know the length of this is 36. A to B is 36. We know the length of A to D. Is 31 from part B, 31.2. 31.2. So we can find the area of the entire rectangle. Then you can subtract this area of that triangle. And you can also subtract the area of that triangle 
to just be left with the green or the the yellow the yellow quadrilateral okay so 36 times 31.2 oh no adding green highlighter 36 times 31.2 is Pythagoras a little bit to find the other side and um, but I'm just going to fly through that now as well so to find the area of ABG we know the height we need the base okay so using Pythagoras again we go 36 squared plus let's just call it x for x squared is equal to 39 squared x squared is equal to 39 squared minus 36 squared x is equal to the square root 39 squared minus 36 squared x is equal to square root 39 squared minus 36 squared is 15 so the area of this guy is a half 15 times 36 which is 270 centimeters squared and AED now from above again, yeah, this was 36 here. From above again, we knew this was 12 a to e. We know a to d is 31.2. So very similarly, let's call this y. 12 squared plus y squared is equal to 31.2 squared. Y squared is equal to 31.2 squared minus 12 squared y is equal to the square root 31.2 squared minus 12 squared y is equal to the square root 31.2 squared minus 12 squared 144 over 5 so the area of this because I need the base and the perpendicular height is going to be a half times 12 times 1, 4, 4 over 5 8, 6, 4 over 5 centimeters squared subtract them say to the closest no it doesn't say so it's fine to leave it at 3402 over 5 or six hundred and eighty point four centimeters squared really nice question five marks zero two four five in general that is one of the nicer questions for the topic and I'd be very happy with it.